hello everyone welcome to my channel and today's in this section i would like to explain how to treat the customer as a vendor and a settlement and settlement the business transaction okay so first of all uh, in a business of uh, in a sap terminology uh, initially we will create a business partner and that can be uh, extended as a customer in the normal scenario in the other scenario uh, where some in some scenarios where we have uh, our customer as a vendor or our vendor as a customer this scenarios will have in the business real time business scenario so in that cases what we will do in sap uh, so generally we will create a business partner and then we will assign the extend the business partner as a customer and then we will ex extend the customer to as a vendor so it means um, the same number will be uh, system will assign the same number to the customer uh, as well as a vendor okay so for example your customer also supplies the goods to you or your vendor also uh, as a as your customer in this scenario only we will uh, do this setup so uh, to in sap system how to create this uh, bp of, uh, initially how to create the bp and business partner and uh, then uh, that business partner will be extended to the customer and vendor i will show you in this session step by step process so so just access the transaction code bp here just hit enter and uh, i'm selecting the organization okay now here we need to select uh, the BP role. So uh, I have already done the backend configuration. So we need to do the uh, backend configuration to determine the same uh, same number uh, for uh, BP and customer and vendor. So I'll, I will cover this configuration in the coming videos. Okay. So here I'm selecting company. Here I'm entering some text house number. This is a pin number and the header word and reason is zero one. And then English and just save this. So here we can see I have created the business partner now. Now my business partner is a two three times zero sixty seven. Now I will exchange these two first customer and then as a vendor. Okay, just click on edit here, go here, and then so I'm extending as a same business partner number, I'm extending as customer. So select the company code here, and then this just enter your company code and select here customer and click on adopt and then enter the reconciliation account and then in the customer payment transaction so come down here okay so here we need to check this mark clearing with the vendor and then click on save just ignore this message and click on no So changes has been saved now. Now again, click here, select the vendor role. Okay, then click on company code here and select supplier here, the same, and then select and click on adopt. Then give the trade payables GL account, reconciliation GL account. And then again go to vendor payment transaction tab and scroll down and here we will be seeing a clearing with the customer then select this check mark and just click on save and system will give you this message just click on no see here so we have uh, created the BP master uh, so this is my business partner number and as well as same other customer number and supplier number 
okay so in vendor master data mat, master data we we have one more assignment we need to assign in the general data and here vendor general data and here we have a customer number so here we need to give the customer number here and just click on save and just click on now data saved and same thing we need to do in our uh, customer customer master we need to enter the vendor number uh, system has been automatically taken this one so now i will post one customer invoice and when vendor invoice and then we will see in the report how system will show you those things so my business partner is two triple zero sixty seven okay initially i will post one vendor invoice b60 i'm assessing the transaction code b60 here and then Two three times zero sixty seven and I'm taking the invoice date and posting date same as sent. Okay, I'm entering here thousand INR and then I'm entering my expense GL account, same thousand INR and then i'm entering some random cost center here just hit enter and save and then now i will open another session so here i will open a bl1n vendor line item report and here so now i have posted one invoice thousand currently we can see only one open item we have thousand and now go back again now i am uh, posting a uh, customer invoice for the same bp fb70 okay so here i have taken my customer 200067 and uh, i'm taking the same date invoice date and posting date i'm just mentioning the reference okay and then here i am entering 400 inr and then i am selecting my sales revenue gl here again 400 and i am entering some random profit center here and then again so psg is activated in my scenario Okay, then click on save. Uh, so document has been posted now. Now I will okay. Now I will go back to ABL one n So here only we can see the customer uh, line item and vendor line item. So currently we are uh, system is showing only vendor line item. And go one step back here. Scroll down. So here we have an option to select the customer line customer items. Just select this option and then click on execute. So here you will see. Uh, DR is a uh, customer invoice and KR is a vendor invoice so so we have to pay the thousand rupees to the, this customer and in the same way we have customer has to pay 400 rupees to us so in these two scenarios uh, both has been nullified and no the balance remaining balance system is showing the remaining balance as 600 600 we have to pay now I will I will make that make a one post outgoing transaction so that uh, system will we will only pay 600 only and then later we'll come back again here so system will show uh, zero balance both will be nullified so
from accessing the transaction code f dot f dash 53 post outgoing payments here and I'm selecting the same date as the document date and here I'm selecting the document type as ka vendor document and then and this is my outgoing bank account so here we are we are going to pay only 600 only so I'm entering the 600 here and then enter the vendor number 200076 and here select the other accounts and then click on process open item okay vendor is not defined company code 2000 okay just a second 67 sorry okay so here here give the customer number 200067 and give the icon type as D and then give your company code and select this check mark and then click on continue so here we can see system has uh, picked these two documents KR document and uh, DR document customer invoice and vendor invoice so the remaining balance system is showing here we have to pay uh, 600 amount entered amount assigned so then click on post here so now we can see the document has been posted with uh, 17000 the ending with 11 was posted in company code 2000 now we will go back to our ABL one end report and we'll see there what is the impact so now I'm going one step back here and I'm executing it again so whether we we have open any open items or not we will see here so here we don't have any open items so system is saying no items selected so now I'm selecting all items and here I have selected this customer line items also system will show the customer line items as well and then click on execute now we can see here now the vendor balance is showing as zero initially it was a 600 so we have made the payment uh, of remaining the 600 so now the uh, both entries have been nullified and it's showing as zero okay so that's all in this section i hope you guys clear with this uh, today's uh, uh, today's explanation as a vendor as customer how to create the vendor as customer step by step process and how we will clear in SAP system so in the coming videos I will be covering this uh, configuration okay thank you so much for watching my videos